Coconut Grove is the best place to live in Miami. Not only for any photographer, but I think for any person that loves nature. I love nature. I do a lot of photography of botanicals and animals. So Coconut Grove is the perfect place. In Coconut Grove, you see people walking or on their bicycles all over the place and it's just really nice. It's where Biscayne Bay meets this jungle. The landscape here is a riot of green. There's all these uh, real shady streets with uh, banyan trees and strangler figs and Royal Poinciana. It's a really, really amazing place. You know, we've kind of brought some of that enthusiasm about Coconut Grove into the Fairchild. This building is integrated into the environment of Coconut Grove a number of ways. One is the material selection. This is not just a plain white stark building. We really uh, sought out some of these local stones natural stones such as keystone and oolite that uh, happen right here pretty much only in Coconut Grove and we've used this in, into the building along with some wood accents to really make the building feel like a Coconut Grove building. I think the project feels uh, very natural and, in, and that's not to say it's not technological, it's certainly state of the art. I think there was a strong desire on our part to make it feel as natural an environment as possible and suppress uh, any technological aspect. Anything that functions, all the mechanical functions of the building are definitely state of the art, but they are suppressed in lieu of giving the natural space really the center stage. I think an interesting you know, aspect of the Fairchild is how it taps into the history. Uh, way back in 1898, uh, a man named David Fairchild uh, discovered South Florida. He came, he was, uh, worked for the U.S. government in what was called at the time plant introduction. And their whole idea was to bring in plants from around the world to this new United States of America. Not too far away from here, maybe a mile or so to the south, David Fairchild, of which this building is named, has his house. There is a, there's a great garden called the Campong in South Coconut Grove. A botanical garden it has lots of stone and exotic plants from all over the world and it's just it's got this feeling to it and we wanted to capture some of that and use that as an inspiration for the Fairchild. The Fairchild offers a really unique opportunity to be right on the bay. There's not a road in between you and the bay so you can come right downstairs from your residence and be on an amazing deck that we've created on the bay, jump in to the boat, go paddle boarding, you know, your lifestyle is right there here at the edge of the bay. The pool deck is really kind of bathed in sun almost all day and it's a really big, vast, uh, clean, beautiful large space to really absorb sun and, and have this beautiful view of the ocean uninterrupted from, from your pool. The sunset deck is, is, is by contrast very intimate. It's about sort of the end of the day and sort of like catching the sun's last rays. When we designed this building, we really looked at it, you know, from the inside out. What are the views gonna be like from every single unit? Some of the units have just views of the treetops and the beautiful canopy of Coconut Grove, while others have views of the horizon of Biscayne Bay, where you can see stilts fill out there. Some have both. So, Wherever you live in this building, you're going to be rewarded with some really amazing views.